guys, welcome to another lesson. Uh, this is lesson number eight of the series of 10 basic guitar lessons brought to you by theguitarlesson.com. I'm Tom Fontana, and in today's lesson, we'll be adding several new techniques to your guitar playing arsenal. We'll first look at hammer-ons, then we'll look at pull-offs, and we'll also be learning the minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so uh, these are really uh, uh, important uh, techniques that you'll need to play uh, lead guitar when you start playing solos and short riffs. So it's very important that you learn these techniques uh, really well right at the beginning, right now, because they'll just take your playing to whole new dimensions. Okay, uh, uh, now, now we'll be covering the basic techniques during the lesson, but since these are things you'll just have to learn by practicing, I'm going to be moving pretty fast, and I want you to practice them after the lesson, or, or if you feel like it, just pause the video whenever you want to um, and practice one of the techniques that we learn, okay? Now let's stop talking and let's learn by doing. Uh, we'll start off with the hammer-on. Uh, let's use the high E string since uh, that's the easiest to practice your hammer-ons at first. So I just want you to prepare your finger at fret three on the high E string. And uh, now plug the open string at first. Then just hit the tip of your finger right onto the string. Okay, so let's just stop for a minute and let me explain what happened. Uh, when you pluck a single note and then sound the higher note by hammering onto it with a fretting hand finger, you'll, you'll get the sound of that higher fret like we just did. Now you can do this uh, all over the fretboard on any string. The point is that the note you hammer onto has to be higher than the initial note that you plucked. Uh, so, so try it on, on the other strings now as well, okay? It's really important that you learn this and practice it until the volume of the note you hammer on to is pretty much equal to that of the initial note that you plucked, okay? And uh, once you can do it with your first finger, try it with your second finger. Then the third. And the pinky as well. And at first you'll probably hit the string too soft or not even hit the string at all. But you know, don't worry about it. Uh, I had the same problems, just like all beginner guitarists do. Everyone has the same problems when they're a beginner. Uh, my ha hammer-ons were really weak and uncoordinated, so my fingers were all over the place. But you know, just remember that with practice, it will become effortless and, and, al and almost like second nature, basically. Uh, the goal really is to make your hammer-on sound as clearly as the first note that you play. Uh, and that's with all your fingers, of course. Uh, so just remember uh, to come down hard and strike right onto the string and uh, come down onto the tip of your finger. So you don't come down flat onto your finger, but right onto the tip. Uh, otherwise, your, your hammer-on won't have enough power and you'll probably hit other strings as well. Uh, now, this, te this technique requires a lot of finger strength and coordination, so just practice this a lot and you'll have it very soon. Uh, this is a technique that pe people actually pick up pretty quickly uh, with enough practice, okay? So um, I can imagine that in, in a week you'll probably have these sounding at the same volume as your initial note. Okay, uh, we'll do more hammer-ons later. And now let's look at a new technique called pull-off, which is actually the exact opposite of the hammer-on. So first hold down fret three on string E, pluck it, just pull your finger off. So as you can see, the pull-off is done by playing uh, any given note on any single string and uh, pulling off to a sound uh, that's a lower note. Uh, it's exactly just the opposite of the hammer-on. And uh, actually, the correct pull-off technique is not just lifting your finger off the string, that's what most be uh, beginner guitarists do, but actually pulling the string down just slightly, just a tiny bit before you let it go. So when you eventually pop your finger off the string, it'll jump back into place, uh, and that's actually, uh, it's, it's sort of like a mini pluck. And uh, when the string jumps back into place, that's what gives off the sound. So just practice this. Uh, the goal again is to uh, get the volume of your initial pluck. And of course, uh, you can do this on any string at any fret with any finger. So you can try that out on your own. Now I'll, I'll just show you the pinky, which is the hardest actually. Okay, so just practice this a lot as well. It's a very, very important technique. You'll be using it in a bunch of songs later on. So you'll want to learn it correctly uh, at this stage already. And uh, I know at first it won't even make a sound probably. You'll be hitting other strings when you pull your finger off the string. Uh, but you know, the important thing is that you learn it correctly. Don't rush it, just advance at your own pace. And uh, when you can do it with your first finger, move on to your second finger and third finger, and then try it with your pinky. Uh, that, that would be the best uh, way to go, I think. 
Uh, and really, there's no point in rushing anything since uh, it'll have major negative effects on uh, later on when you would need to play it in solos. And uh, you, will, you will be playing them, I, I can promise you that. Just learn these basic skills at first, okay? Uh, we'll come back to the pull-offs uh, again later on as well. Uh, but first, I want to introduce you to one of the most important guitar, guitar skills you're, you'll learn, the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, I'll just show you real quick, starting off, um, starting off fret five on the low E string. Now, this is one of the most commonly used scales you'll find in all types of music, and this really is a fantastic scale to start with, uh, as you'll be utilizing it all the time. You will actually be able to uh, play great solos later on. You'll be able to improvise on it, but you know, first things first. Let's just learn, learn the scale. Now, I uh, want you to line up your fingers. Uh, don't hold down the string yet. Just line up your fingers uh, above uh, each fret from fret five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Uh, now, look at the chord diagram on the screen. Uh, chord diagram, the scale diagram on the screen, and just memorize the shape of that scale. Uh, the good thing about this scale is that it's a, a movable scale, and you can play it anywhere on the neck of your guitar. So you just have to remember the shape and you'll be plucking exactly the same notes no matter where you, if you start off of fret five or fret one or fret 20, it doesn't matter. Now I'll be laying a bar over the entire fifth fret uh, with my fingers so you know that you can play the scale that way as well. But you know, in the beginning you just go ahead and move your finger up and down on, on the strings, okay? Uh, uh, so let's just uh, pluck the notes in order. Now uh, going up. back down. Okay, so let's just do that again, okay? So that's finger one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, four, and then one again. And as I said, you can use the scale wherever you want, so I'll just show you a fret seven. So this is called a movable skill uh, since you can move it anywhere you want. And uh, just practice it on your own, memorize the shape on the screen or go to theguitarlesson.com and download the scale chart. And just play it slowly at first, then try it faster and faster. But you know, remember that, that playing it correctly is much more important than playing it fast. So advance at your own pace, speed up when you feel like you can and just practice it. And I want to return to uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, and, and show you their real power actually, uh, which is that when you're playing, you don't really need to pluck every note. You know, hammer-ons and pull-offs are, are much faster once, once you get the hang of them. So uh, let's try the pentatonic scale going upwards and uh, use a hammer-on every second note instead of plucking it uh, with the pec plectrum, okay? <laughs> pull-offs going backwards, so you pluck the, the higher note, then pull off to the lower note. I'll do that again. So these techniques will be a real benefit to you. I want you to practice them uh, until you get them sounding right. Uh, just with the open strings at first, and then when you uh, get them sounding at the right volume, then try it with a pentatonic scale, just like I showed you now. Okay, and now to keep you motivated, I want, I want, you I want to show you a short trill. And a trill is actually where you do consecutive hammer-ons and pull-offs right after another. I'm sure you recognize this. Uh, I'll just turn my distortion up right here. And I just want to see, I, I just want to tell you that I won't be using my plectrum for this one, okay? So just watch. <laughs> So that was just a quick example of uh, how you can use these techniques. I, I hope that you, it got you motivated enough to keep on practicing your hammer-ons and pull-offs because they really are very, very important. I just can't emphasize that enough. And uh, the funny thing is that once you get the hang of these two techniques, uh, this little trill I played, it, it sh you'll see that it's pretty easy actually. And I know this sounds impossible right now, but trust me, practice these techniques every day for a couple of weeks and you'll be playing it uh, sooner than later really. 
Okay, so um, we reached the end of another lesson, and now it's your turn. Uh, just stay where you are. Hopefully the guitar is already in your lap, and uh, practice all the things that we've been learning today. It will be of true benefit to you soon uh, when you start playing uh, songs. Uh, you know, you can uh, go up to our website on www.guitarlesson.com at any time and just download a whole bunch of songs where you can actually uh, practice all the techniques that we learn here. And uh, in the next lesson, in the next basic lesson, lesson number nine, we'll be covering some more guitar solo techniques. So be sure to check it out. You can download that on theguitarlesson.com as well. And I'll see you then. Bye.